Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Topps Chrome Black Baseball 12 box pick your team number 13, lucky 13. All cards ship, full case break. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. I appreciate it. Tuesday the 17th, pick your team 13. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the filler we did. Ed, you ended up with last spot mojo with the Mets. Cor no, not Corey. Sorry, Corey. Pretty sure it's Ed. Pick your team 13. No, it's, it is Corey. Sorry, Ed. Well, Ed, you have second to last spot mojo. How about that? And Corey, you have official last spot mojo. All right. Let's pop this case open and let's see what we got here. We have another case of Topps Chrome Black loaded up. Um, Topps Chrome Black actually at a pretty solid price point. I feel like we can run it back or if we get it pretty close to single digits or into single digits, I'm sure building a filler, uh, building a filler for this wouldn't be wouldn't be difficult at all, and would probably sell out fairly quickly. All right, so we're doing the whole case. We got some uh, some base cards in there, plus um, plus one encased card per box. Old school guys. New school guys, a lot of parallels, a lot of numbers, a lot of big hit potential in here. Good luck. I feel like of all the cases we've been doing this week, have we seen a one of one? I don't think we've seen a one of one. We've got a Jaron Duran Duran to 150. So maybe we can cross our fingers for something like that. Also, I think the cards with the big rookie logo might be a little bit shorter printed. That'll be for the Cubs. All right, the encased card. Uh, Duran Duran will go to Howard and the Red Sox. Dustin has the Cubs. And our first encased auto is Trey Mancini. That will be for the O's, Orioles edition, going to Ed P. Oh, that is a that is a case hit. All right, so maybe those fall one per case. There you go. Nice. All right. Yeah, I don't know how many cards are in this base set. I think a, probably a decent number, but they don't give you, but not a lot of cards per pack, though. Nice Julio Rodriguez, his teammate Kyle Lewis, and Brandon Marsh. It's a nice pack. 62 out of 150. Wait, is Kyle Lewis still his teammate? Did they try to trade Kyle Lewis? Why am I thinking there's... No, he's a, he's a, he's a Diamondback now. That's right. All right, but this is still Seattle edition of this set. Michael Losey with that one, 31 out of 99. And here's Julio Rodriguez, rookie card. Michael with the Mariners. Former teammate of uh, Kyle Lewis. All right, the encased is Aqua Parallel. Do I see a rookie logo here? I do. It's a good sign. It's Hoy Park, 85 out of 99 for the Pirates. Dustin with the buckos. They did, says Joe. Kyle Lewis, I think, is supposed to be really good, but I think the, the injuries kind of have derailed him, I feel like. All right. Ooh, and we got a George Springer 
One out of five. There's a train whistle, but looking for a one of one. We've done enough of these cases where I feel like I can start thinking about, hey, is a one of one going to happen? Here's an out of five, though. I'd love to see this. Anthony with the Blue Jays. Anthony, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Wow. Daniel saying that that base Julio is 70 to 80 bucks just on its own. Nice. Yeah, I do love the Topps Chrome Black. Really sharp looking set. All right. Next player. Oh, this guy knows. Bo Jackson. Bo knows. Bo knows autographs. Michael Losia with the Royals. That's right, Justin. You're right. If you think about it, one of one, just one card, not too much to ask for. Let's just see it. Let's see it. We've got Nolan Arenado. Uh, 60 out of 99. Cardinals. It's going to be for Matthew Wood. And we got some gold. 28 out of 50. Gold. Rhino. And that'll be for Dustin and the Cubbies. All right, next one. Tani, the Starling Marte, and a gold Nick Madrigal, 25 out of 50. All right, next up is 16 out of 150, Hassan Kim. That's for the Padres, Dustin. Dustin had the Pirates and the Padres. Couple, uh, couple of Korean ball players there. Rex has been noticing in the three last three or four years, Rhino's been signing a lot. Or maybe Rex, maybe he's signing just exactly the same, but we're just pulling him more often. Maybe that's the case. All right. It might be, huh? Might be in Korean. There's Manny Machado, Hassan Kim's teammate, Juan Yepes, and Vlad Guerrero Jr. 87 out of 99. What's Ryan Sandberg doing these days? Wasn't he an aspiring manager at some point? But I think he had a not so good stint with the Phillies, maybe. No job offers after that. All right, next, not numbered, it's Edgar Martinez. Nice. Mariners, that'll be for Michael. Michael with the Royals, too. A couple old school guys for you. Edgar Martinez and Bo Jackson. One out of every 4,528 packs. How many cases is that? Four, four, two, someone do that math. Four, four, five, two, eight divided by 12 boxes per case. Spencer Torkelson, Brandon Marsh, and Jose Ramirez, Purple Chrome, 101 to 150. Oh, that's right. He got a statue in front of Wrigley. Torkelson going to Anthony and the Tigers. What other statues are out there, Rex? Do you, do you know? He does. He. I mean, yeah. I, I guess he's won a couple MVPs with the Cubs. Is that statue worthy, though? All right. Next up is Raleigh Fingers, fifty-eight out of one hundred and fifty.
For the Oakland A's, John with the A's. Next box. Ah, Mike Tower gonna try that joke again. Statue of Sam Sosa, but it's corked. Ernie Banks, Harry Carey, Fergie James, Ron Santa, Billy Williams, and then Rhino? I mean, shouldn't the entire 2016 World Series winning team all have a giant statue before, before Ryan Sandberg? Every single member of that World Series roster should have a statue. There's Dylan Carlson, 89 out of 199. All right, that's for Matthew and the Cardinals. And the next encased auto is, can you tell by that first letter right there? It's Reed Detmers. I would not have guessed Reed Detmers. Rookie autograph for Ryan and the Angels. Won that team in the filler. Oh, I see. They're going to the decades slowly, I guess. <laughs> Both, Mike Tower. Both. They, get a, they should get a statue because they won a World Series, and it was so long since they won the last World Series. Brian Hayes, 70 out of 199. D'Lo remembering that Phillies trade Larry Boa and Sandberg for Ivan, Ivan, Ivan de Jesus, one of the worst trades in baseball history. I can't trade those guys. Ooh, we got a little red, red rookie. Three out of five, red rookie, red rookie, Joe Ryan. Little Joe Mojo going to Kenny and the Twins. Kenny won that team in the filler. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Still hunting for that one of one. I don't know. I think you're right. I don't know which teams actually have team statues. Statue might be more of an individual accomplishment thing. Well, Cubs could have been the first. Cubs could have been the first to have a have a big team statue. It'd be smaller though. It'd be the size of a regular statue, but with all the guys. There's Max Scherzer taking it to the max. 157 out of 199. And we've got Gold Speckle, 35 out of 50. It's Jose Canseco. That's going to go to John and the A's. <laughs> you know what? I, I haven't. I don't think my, my facial hair grows thick enough to, uh, to get a mustache, a proper one going. I, haven't, I have not shaved in a bit, but this is kind of what it looks like. I think it look, probably looks better on camera than it does in person. I don't know. I wonder, though, Justin, if I, if I ended up on a deserted island for, for a year, what, 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 what this facial hair would look like. It's Cabrian Hayes, 36 out of 50. But yeah, I wish I could grow like a full, like, you know, a full, like, motorcycle cop kind of mustache. You know what I mean? I don't know if I could do that. And it ends up getting itchy and, and it bothers me. There's Ted Simmons for the Cardinals. That'll be for Matthew. All right, last box coming up. We got another case of this in the store, ladies and gentlemen. That's a good statue. A little Doug Peterson, Nick Foles statue. Is, J is Jason rocking some sort of mustache? Just, oh, you tried rocking some mutton chops and the wife wasn't having it? 
thought I thought chicks dig uh, facial hair, don't they? Isn't that like a thing? A scruffy, maybe that maybe mutton chops a little too scruffy. You are on Alvarez, Ryan Vallad, and Giancarlo Stanton. Fifteen out of seventy-five. When I th when I think mutton chops, I definitely think of like you know you like a uh, old uh, old like an old uh, politician from like the seventeen hundreds or something like eighteen hundreds or something. Yeah, bare chin and neck, but just the I don't know. Tell her, tell her. It's a, it's a Wolverine has mutton chops, right? Wolverine's pretty cool. All right, last autograph is going to be Jorge Posada. Hip, hip, Jorge for Dustin and the Yankees. There you go, gang. Super Fractor, the one-of-one one search continues in 2022. Tops Chrome Black, but we've got another case loaded up in the store. Maybe we'll find one there. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.